The member for Kalia. My question is to the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure, Transport and Regional Development. Will the Deputy Prime Minister update the House on how good economic management allows the government to look after older Australians in rural and regional Australia, including in the electorate of Collaire? And what are the risks to older Australians retiring with confidence in regional areas? The Deputy Prime Minister has the call. Yeah, thank you, Mr Speaker. And I thank the member for Collaire for his uh, question. Mr Speaker, regional Australia is ageing faster than the capital cities. That is according to the Regional Australia Institute, Mr Speaker. Uh, that is the truth. Uh, and getting the books uh, in better shape means that we can, as the government, uh, share the benefits in regional Australia and build the future our regions deserve. Build the future that our regions want, expect, but most of all deserve. That's what we want to do for the 8.8 .8 million Australians who live in regional Australia, who make their homes there, who want to retire there. We want to build a better future for them. And it means that we can invest in making country communities more livable, uh, such as in the member for Clare's electorate, and including the $1.9 million investment in the Blaney. Centre Point Sports and Leisure Facility upgrade through the Building Better Regions Fund. Now I've seen that particular facility. I know it needs upgrading. I visited it with the member for Clare in April. I saw firsthand what an asset that an upgraded facility uh, would be for the local community, particularly for seniors uh, in that community, particularly for those people with a disability. Now, a strong, a strong economy means that we can invest in aged care beds uh, in the regions, including the 73 beds uh, in. Lithgow in Clare that we have, as Liberal and Nationals, uh, delivered. That's what we've done. We've delivered it. Uh, it means fewer people in Lithgow will have to travel away from home and they can get the care they deserve locally. The member for Clare knows that. Uh, but it's not just the here and now, it's for future generations, uh, and such as the Murray-Darling Rural Medical Schools Network. Now, the member for Clare had a lot to do with the delivery of that particular initiative, and what a good initiative it is. In fact, uh, Dr David Bell, he's an orthopaedic and spinal surgeon uh, from the central west of New South Wales. He has practices in Orange, uh, Bathurst, Parks and Forbes. And he said, and you should listen to this, you should listen to this, Member for Hunter. We need more people who not only want to train in the country but want to return to the country to live and practice. The Murray Darling Rural Medical School Network will help change the perception that you have to train in the big hospitals in the city to be a good doctor. Mm. I would hope that by educating and training more medical students out in the country where they can work with their peers and form friendship networks, they will want to settle and practice in the country once they've completed their training. Now you might knock and you might knock Dr David Bell, but he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. And it's a shame that a few more of you didn't listen to the likes of Dr Members David on my Bell. Left. It's also about making choices to protect those senior Australians who build the country and not raid their savings. Because that's what you what that lot opposite want to do if ever they get into government. It's bring a wrecking ball into the savings of those people who've worked hard, who've helped build Member our country, and who've helped protect our country in its time of its darkest need. But that's what those opposite want to do. They want to whack retirees, they want to whack veteran savings. That's all they stand for. I don't know why you don't get on the board with the likes of Dr. The David Bell. Member's time has concluded.